My name is Connor Lane. I play guitar for Bear Safari and for my solo project, Connor Lane Guitar. I've been playing guitar for about six years now, and it all got started with this terrible, terrible, like, Stratocaster S guitar that my stepbrother gave me, which just it was terrible. It didn't play properly at all. And it got it was covered in band stickers and logos and stuff, and it was really, really awful, but it was kind of the only thing that I had going for me at the time. I didn't have any other instruments. Um, I've been playing Guitar Hero, but that doesn't really count. I've been doing that for like four years and I really wanted to play guitar, but I just couldn't ever pick it up. And so I got myself a free guitar. I got like an amp from my uncle, like a really tiny Marshall amp. And that's where it sort of started. And now I'm playing um, PRS guitars, PRS, um, the SE range. I absolutely fallen in love with they've they're just the most reliable guitars I've ever played and I've never found anything that's been so comfortable so sounding so great you know it's just incredible and now I've stuck with those and I don't think I'm ever going to go to anything else this album is something that I feel like I've wanted to do for a few years now but I never really realized it I sort of did an EP back in April um, of songs that I've been writing over the past three or four years, maybe just sort of done in Guitar Pro and then redone onto into Logic. But I, I don't know. I just I wanted to create a full length piece of art, basically that resembles what kind of music I want to do. And I knew I had at least you know fifteen to twenty ideas that could easily be put into songs that I just hadn't finished off yet. I needed to get them properly recorded, I needed to buy some more equipment, I needed to set myself up, make sure I had enough equipment and enough time, enough space to be able to do this myself. So I didn't really, I don't have any budget for it, I didn't have any budget to take it into the studio um, or to take it to professional mixing, mastering people, so it's completely done by myself. Um, I feel like hopefully it will showcase what kind of music I do, what I'm capable of and what I like listening to. Graphite is, when I started writing Graphite, I knew that I wanted it to be the introduction to like an album or an EP or something. I knew that it wanted to, it wanted to be the, the very first song because it's got a bit of an intro, a bit of a build up and then it all comes in at once and it's a little bit, it's kind of catchy, even though it's very complex, it's still catchy, it's still got a memorable rhythm and melody to it. And I feel like it was, I don't know, it's one of my favorite songs on the album because it just sums up it gives it, you know, it gives a nice segue into the whole thing, really, really well in the first like, you know, three minutes. I feel like it has the uh, the capability to be the first single as well, which is why I'm releasing it as the first single. So it can be the introduction to the album, and can be the first proper showcase of music that I, I'm going to be able to do. I'm going to be working with my good friend Noah Twine to film a music video for it, like a playthrough, um, and he's helped me with all of the all of the studio shooting. Um, so hopefully that will be one of the songs that if anyone was to know the name Conor Lang Guitar, they would think of that song. Two thousand and one was actually one of the last songs that I wrote for the album, um, specifically because I learned that I was going to be working with uh, Patrick Somerle of Reflections. He said he wanted to do a guest solo on my um, on my album, and I didn't have any songs that had any reasonable places left that would have worked to have a guest solo in, and so I thought I could write something that you know that's similar kind of similar to the style that he does and kind of reflects what he would have been able to put onto it and I think that it worked really well um, his solo is absolutely incredible and I'm so glad to have managed to work with him in terms of structure the song's like pretty unconventional it's uh, it's got a weird intro and a weird middle bit and chorus is 
kind of repeated, but not really. You know, it's very uh, obtuse of a song. It's a very obtuse song, but I really like it. I think it's heavy enough to help carry on the lead that was um, created by Graphite. Crimson Cake is actually a song I wrote for Bear Safari about two years ago. Um, it was much, it, it was terrible back then actually. It had like the main melody, the main beginning melody, but it was really badly structured and had terrible corporations behind it. But I eventually went back to work on it and I've been working on it for, oh, I don't know, quite a long time now. I keep going back and improving it, you know, up until the recording stage. But I, I really wanted it to be for Bear Safari, but it was just, they just didn't, we weren't able to find a decent place for it, it wasn't able to sit anywhere. Um, so I just took it for myself and, you know, tried my best to make it what it was as an instrumental piece. Yeah. 